A new fund has been launched to help less well-off students from lower to middle-income families in the South East District. The South East EduCare Fund, which was announced on Wednesday, will provide a one-off payout of $300 to households in the district with a per capita monthly household income of $800 to $1,000. These households should have at least one school-going child aged 7 to 16, or a child older than 16 who is in secondary school. The payouts will support students from disadvantaged families and help them cope with the rising cost of living. The fund aims to help more than 3. 000 families. The $1 million fund will bridge educational disparities by helping less advantaged students in the district access necessary school supplies and enable them to better focus on their studies, said the South East Community Development Council CDC in a statement. By addressing their needs and enhancing their academic resources, the fund strives to propel students towards a brighter future. The council said. The fund was one of three initiatives for residents announced by South East CDC at its annual district conference on Wednesday. Deputy Prime Minister Hong Sui Kit attended the event. South East CDC oversees Marine Parade GRC, East Coast GRC, Mountbatten SMC, and McPherson SMC. The council also announced that it will be expanding its mental health initiatives by improving one of its programs, Seats of Wellness. The enhanced initiative aims to provide better outreach to support the mental well-being of young people and the elderly through a grant, a self-help toolkit and artistic performances. The Community Mental Wellness Grant, which offers up to $5,000 per application, will be open to community partners to help them run mental wellness-related programs by investing in their mental wellness. The district extends a helping hand to young people and their elders in need, promoting a healthier and more resilient future for all, the council said. It also launched a new project to encourage sustainability and eco-friendly practices in the community. The project, which features compost systems, will first be implemented in schools within the district to instill the culture and knowledge of sustainability in children from a young age. It said, Community and school gardens located in the district will be given bins with compost worms that will consume and convert compostable food waste into natural fertilizer. This is essential as it equips the young ones in the community with the values and practices needed to ensure a safer and cleaner, environmentally friendly future for themselves," said the council. The project offers a sustainability alternative and will eventually be expanded to the broader community to equip them to manage waste more efficiently, fostering a zero-waste lifestyle and nurturing the overall health and wellness of young ones. Mayor of South East District Fomi Oliman said, Our young ones are the heartbeat of our community. Their future matters, and we are steadfast in providing them with the tools to succeed. The district will dedicate more than $2 million over three years to the three initiatives to bolster their holistic growth in education, mental wellness, and environmental responsibility. He added, we want to celebrate with our young ones and pave their way to a better tomorrow.